Welcome to the video tutorial for tutors on how to mark turning in assignments on Blackboard. During this video you will be taken through the entire process of accessing and marking a submission. Specifically you will learn how to log into Blackboard and access the assignment inbox, navigate around the marking tool, comment on and grade a submission. We hope you find this video useful. First and foremost, open up your web browser and go to learn.imperial.ac.uk. This opens up Blackboard. When the login page appears, enter your login details and click the login button. If you do not know your login details, contact us via email at webmaster.feo at imperial.ac.uk. As soon as you log in, you will immediately see your course list, which will show all the courses you've been enrolled onto. To enter a course, look for the course name in the list and then click the link. In this video, we will be accessing the course called Year 1 Online Resources. The first page you will see is the course content page as shown here. Before going further, make sure you're in teach mode and not student view. When you're ready, click the appropriate module or folder as described in your instructions. For example, problem-based learning. You will now see a list of links. Click the appropriate link to access the inbox and commence marking. It's worth noting that you're likely to see a longer list like the one shown here. This will of course depend on whether the assignment was set up according to groups or not. You will now see the assignment inbox, the area where all the student submissions and their relevant details are listed. We will only be concentrating on marking a submission in this video, so do feel free to ignore anything else you see in this page except those features we specifically show. Let's start by looking at the layout of the assignment inbox. Remember at any time you can sort any of these lists shown by clicking on the headings. The leftmost, author, is a student's name. The surname is listed first. We then have the title, which is essentially the name of the submission provided by the student. If the student hasn't submitted anything, no submission will be shown to flag this. The similarity column shows a similarity index. It's simply the percentage of the assignment where text matches have been found by the Turnitin system. This is related to the originality report and a separate video tutorial is available for this. The grade column lists either the grades if they have been marked already or a blue pen symbol to indicate grading is not yet complete. Under the file column you can click on the blue icons to download the original submission file. And finally the date column shows the date of submission. If nothing has been submitted, late is shown in red. If the submission was made after the due date, the date appears in red. You could use the scroll bar to scroll through the entire list if you do have many submissions. First, we'll need to open up the marking tool. Let's begin by clicking the blue pen symbol under the grade column for a particular student. The marking tool window will open. It is referred to as grade mark and allows you to directly comment on and grade all submissions. As before, we will only be concentrating on marking a submission in this video, so do feel free to ignore anything else you see on this page except those features we specifically show. Let's start by looking at the layout of the grade mark tool. From the top left corner, you may access the originality report. Please note that a separate video tutorial is available for this. Here you can see the title of the submission as provided by the student and the name of the student just beneath the title. Over in the top right corner you can see the similarity index on the left and the overall submission grade on the right. This submission has not been marked yet. You can see the actual submission taking up the main part of the window and on the side you will see the scroll bar to move up and down the submission. In the bottom left corner you may click to view information about the submission. As you can see, you will be able to find various useful information such as the exact date and time of submission, word count, count by the system, and whether grades and comments have been given. Just to the right of the info icon, you will see two icons that allow you to download the full grade mark report for saving or printing purposes. This report includes the full assignment, all comments, and full marking details. Do note that a separate pop-up window opens when this is clicked with further instructions. You may also zoom in and out of the submission by dragging the circle to the left or right of the zoom scroll bar. As a marking tutor, you can provide annotated comments, general feedback, and can also score the submission. But remember, once the grade and feedback are released to the student, they will be able to see everything you've typed. 
Let's go through the various marking areas in this tool. Quick marks are effectively your annotated comments. General feedback is where you can type in general and overall feedback for the entire submission. The quick marks list shows you a list of all the comments you've annotated on the submission. Adding annotated comments using quick marks is relatively straightforward. You need to highlight the text, then click the comment button. Here's a demo. Firstly, highlight the text using your mouse, like this. Then click the comment button. A comment box appears. Type in your comments and click the save button when done. If you wish to view the comment, hover your mouse pointer over the blue comment marker beside the yellow highlighted text. Let's add another comment just to go through that again. So, you highlight the text, then click the comment button, and then finally type in your comments and click the save button. To summarize, you add an annotated comment by highlighting the text, clicking the comment button, typing in your comments, and then clicking the save button. Editing and deleting a comment is also quite simple. Here's a demo. Hover over the blue comment marker with your mouse pointer just as you would do to view it. Click the edit button. Edit the text and then click the save button. And to delete it, just click the bin icon in the top right corner of the comment box. OK, so we've used a comment button to add in annotations. So what are all these buttons then? Well, these are all quick marks, just like the comment button. You do not have to use these. There are just templates for more specific comments, for example, improper citation or spelling errors. If you do mark often, then you may wish to use these, but again, you do not have to. OK, let's go and give the submission some general comments. Click the General Comments button. To add comments, click the Edit button and type your comments in the space provided. Once you're done, click the Save button. Editing or removing comments is exactly the same. Click Edit, type or change your comments, and click the Save button.